hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much to all my lovely and wonderful subscribers and if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe click the subscribe button below and also click on that bell icon it will definitely notify you whenever i upload a new and interesting video so guys welcome it is another cooking recipe in here in my kitchen i'm going to be making a goat head pepper soup pepper soup in general is a food that you think of whenever you're feeling down and blue and whenever the weather is not right if you're feeling a little bit of cold or sick pepper soup is what pops in your head whenever you're in that kind of mood it's one of my most favorite food whenever I'm down or feeling some kind of way so we're going to be making goat head pepper soup guys welcome and if you're new here you're wondering why should you subscribe if you love everything that has to do with African yummy Nigerian food then you're in the right place so subscribe and stay tuned guys I'm going to take you guys over there and I'll introduce you guys to our ingredients for today please stay tuned till the end of the video guys for my ingredients for today I'm going to be using baby spinach I'm going to be using centered leaf I forgot to mention that this is a plantain and goat head pepper soup so I'm going to be using ripe plantain you can use unripe plantain for this recipe as well but today I'm going to be using ripe plantain I'm going to be using onions I'm going to be using crayfish I'm going to be using maggi so that is a who seed calabash not me I'm going to be using pepper. This is a sweet red pepper. And this is, they say it's chili pepper, but it's not that chili. This is the most spiciest pepper there. Habanera pepper. I'm going to be using salt, thyme, and mixed seasoning. So guys, this is our meat. I have my goat head. I also have some shaki meat as well. I didn't ask them in the shop when I bought this shaki, but from looking at it, it looks like goat, uh, goat meat shaki, and it smells like it as well. So I'm going to add ingredients in our meat, and then we'll start cooking it. I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to add my onions in chunk, because I'm going to take the onions out when the meat has finished uh, cooking. I'm going to add mixed seasoning. I'm going to add salt, I'm going to add thyme, and I'm going to add two maggi. So now I'm going to cover and cook this meat until the meat is soft. While our meat is on the stove now cooking, I'm going to cut my plantain, okay? Like I said, I'm using ripe plantain, but you can also use unripe plantain if that is what you want. So I'm going to cut it. So guys that is my plantain ready I am going to wash it now so now I'm done washing and cleaning my plantain I'm going to add a bit of salt in it so I've added salt and I'm going to boil this plantain on the stove for like 10 minutes I didn't want to put it directly immediately on the pepper soup which you can but uh, because I don't want the pepper soup water to be a little bit thick so that's why I'm not adding the plantain direct to the pepper soup. If you want your pepper soup liquid to be a bit thick, then you can add the whatever you're using, yam or plantain, direct inside the uh, pepper soup. So I'm going to boil that aside for like 10 minutes. So guys, I'm going to be blending my crayfish and my calabash nutmeg, okay? So 
guys now I'm going to take my plantain I am going to drain my plantain it is ready is after 10 minutes now so guys I have taken my meat out of the stove as well because it is ready now but I noticed that this pot is not gonna do it so I'm going to transfer it into a bigger pot and at the same time I am going to take out the chunk of onions as well because I do not want the chunk of onions in the pepper soup so now guys I'm going to add some water in my pot I'm going to add back my plantain I'll add a little bit more water I'm going to add my blended crayfish and ehu seed I'm going to add maggi the small salt I'm going to cover and let the plantain and the meat and the seasoning simmer together so now guys I'm going to cut my vegetable my scent leaf and my baby spinach after cutting my vegetables I am going to slice my peppers I'm going to try and see if I can get them to be very very um, tiny when I'm slicing it so I've done cutting my pepper my sweet peppers and my long chili uh, for my habanero pepper I'm going to pound it So guys my pepper soup has been boiling for like five minutes since I added the crayfish and the calabash nutmeg. I feel like I can't smell the calabash nutmeg so I blended a bit more calabash nutmeg so I'm going to add it inside it okay and I am going to add my cut sweet pepper and the red um, long uh, chili and I'm going to add my Habanero pepper the spicy one. I'm not gonna add all of it. I'm gonna add half of it for now And I will taste it and see how chilly it is. So for now, I'm going to mix, okay I will let it simmer for two minutes so guys after two minutes of adding my all my peppers I'm going to add my um, vegetable and for this vegetable I'm only gonna leave it for like few seconds because this pepper soup is ready so I'm gonna add my scent leaves mix. then I'm going to add my spinach I'm going to leave this for like two seconds or just few seconds I don't want the vegetable to uh, overcook okay I'm going to load the heat I'll leave the heat at number two why I allow it to heat up for a few seconds. I even lowered the, the heat to number one. Okay, so I just allow this to simmer with the veg and yeah, it is done. It is ready. Like the aroma of the calabash nutmeg and the aroma of the scent leaf is off the hook here. So yes, I'm going to take it out of the stove completely. This is the look of our pepper soup you don't have to add this much veg to it but i really like the way it is looking i'm going to taste for salt and maggie oh 
oh my days everything is absolutely perfect oh that is yum i'm going to dish so guys this is our pepper soup it is ready the aroma in this kitchen is just off the hook really so i can't possibly wait to dive in the aroma of the um, scent leaf and um calabash not maybe just killing me right now but yes guys we are done this goat head pepper soup is must try thank you so much guys thank you so so much so guys i hope you enjoyed this wonderful recipe i hope you enjoy spending time with me here in my kitchen i absolutely enjoy making this recipe like i can't possibly wait to dive in because the weather today is not even in my best book so i can't wait to enjoy my pepper soup so thank you so much for stopping by please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up because it really means a lot to me in terms of growing and promoting my channel thank you so much for all your wonderful love and support and i will see you guys on my next one thank you bye